Hello, 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 everybody. It is Pip here from queenpipcards.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my Moody Monday pick-me-up video. Monday lunchtime here in the UK um, or evening or middle of the night, wherever you are in the world. Uh, first thing in the morning sometimes for our US North American friends. Uh, welcome, everybody. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Cheryl. Please do pop a note on, say hello, join me here. I know in the UK it's a bank holiday Monday. Hurrah. Uh, and it's not raining, so I'm expecting lots of you to actually probably be out today and not maybe watching or you're watching at home because you're having a chill out crafty day uh, either way it's all good so how are you all how is your end of august weekend been i can't believe it's the end of august already uh a both managing to catch me lovely that's cool i like that <laughs> i love it when you manage to catch me live it's great um so yes hello and welcome so if anyone who's joining me new you might not know me my name is pip Tobman, and i run queen pip cards and the card making know-how i have various groups and i also run a youtube channel so you could be joining me from YouTube. You could be joining me from Card Making um, for Beginners and Beyond. You could be joining me from Queen Pip Cards page. Um, I'm streaming live simultaneously to all three places because that way the most people can see me and get some crafty demoing this lunchtime, some crafty fun to pick up your mood on a, mo on a moody Monday. Although it's probably not moody today because it is actually a bank holiday here in the UK, but it might be moody elsewhere. So, you know, I'm here to cheer you up got my lippy on got my hair done all my colors are in are in um i spruced myself up for you today uh so i'm not sitting here in my pjs i am actually in my queen pit cards logo items <laughs> i've got my queen pit cards top on so i'm going to talk to you about a couple of things today hi margaret lovely to see you here um please do drop some comments in. We're going to talk about two things mainly today, possibly, well, three. So first of all, if you haven't already done so, there is a post on Queen Pip Cards about the Farnborough show. So anyone in the UK, if you live near to Farnborough in Hampshire, um, the Creative Craft Show has come to Farnborough or is coming to Farnborough this weekend coming, and I have complimentary tickets to give away. So um, it's a one-day ticket. So if you've already booked for one day and you fancy getting an extra ticket, then, you know, that's also possible. Hi, Debbie. So if you've got um, if you've got, or if you've got friends in the area or know anybody, please pop your name in to the comment. I am going to be um, pulling the draw from the from the uh, comment that I've put up, the post that I've put up here in Facebook uh, on my Facebook page at Queen Pip Cards. OK, and. Uh, I will leave these on the door for you so you can come. I will send you an image so you know you've got a ticket if you win. I'll pull the names out from the hat. I will send you a, an image so that you know that you've won. And then I will leave these with your name at the door at Farnborough on whichever day you tell me. So you need to message me back and tell me which day you're coming. Then I have to fill in what day it is and then I'll leave it with your name and I'll leave it at the door for you. So I have six to give away. So please do comment on that post or if you want to win you can put hashtag show um here in facebook i can't see the comments in youtube once they're gone but in facebook like once the live is finished but in facebook i can so if you put hashtag show then i'll put you into the draw as well so that's that hi julie nice to see you um so, yes, yeah, so that's the show done and dusted. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is I haven't actually mentioned this at all. And I feel really bad because it's now the end of August. And I'm like, oh, why didn't I tell anybody about this beforehand? But if you join Stampin' Up um, and become a demo, not like me, but just become a demo, you don't have to do what I do. Um, then you get to choose £130 worth of product. And you also get to pick a free planner. You get the free Make making plans planner notebooks and stamp set so i thought i'd better show you those now i don't have the notebooks with me because I, I don't know what i've done with them i put them somewhere safe um but this is the planner and it runs all the way through until december 2023 20, okay so this is not all of it i've just put in here my pages i'm going to do a i'm going to do a, a look down view in a minute um but it also comes with a stamp set and all the rest of your pages here. So you get like this huge box, which has got all of your pages in, and then you get this really cool stamp set, which is also good for people who like 
bullet journaling, and you get the three notebooks. And you know, I think I should put them over here. Do I put them over here? Oh, I did. Here we go. There we go. Don't look at the mess in there. <laughs> that's that's my that's my notebook stash. <laughs> so you also get three beautiful Stampin' Up logo notebooks, and they're just one's dotty inside, uh, one's plain, and one is lined. So you can you know do all kinds of different bullet journaling and all that kind of stuff as well. So let me flip screens and we'll just put some lights on the subject. And then I can show you what it all actually looks like. Let's turn those lights up a bit. Hey, let's get some light on the subject. Right, so you get this huge box. You get these lovely planners. Isn't that lovely? So a dotty one, a flowery one, and a sort of stripy one. And they're all different inside. Look at that. That lovely. Yes, yeah, see demos. We were able to buy them beforehand, so we didn't have to rejoin because obviously you can't do that. Um, and you get like stickers, all these lovely stickers. Look at that. So I mean, it's useful for anyone who wants to join. It's got things like recruiting, team meeting, uh, orders, and all that. So it is kind of designed for people who want to join and run classes, like Bev. Um, uh, or Cheryl, I know Cheryl uses her planner for that. It's it's got, but you can also use it for other things. It's got 2022, 2023, like your values, your purpose, uh, looking ahead, and then um, I've been using it to scroll stuff in. Uh, but it's <laughs> lots of stuff in here, uh, lots of note pages. But you've got a monthly focus. You've got um, monthly spreads. You've got weekly priorities so i like it because the weekly priorities are just kind of plain and then you've got a monthly review at the end of it and then you start off again monthly focus with august priorities and i'm i've not been great at keeping my planner going but i've only just started using it um in turn because i'm normally an online girl but i'm going to use it for all my moon manifesting i'm doing a lot of moon work at the moment so it goes on and then it goes on into next year and you see i haven't got anything in here yet because it's all in here so you get this whole wodge of stuff like look at all this stuff so you can do weekly priorities for every week for the next year and year and a half and you've got reviews and notes and all that kind of stuff and you've got your notebooks and you've got your stamp set check all the boxes i like that keep track of wish list who doesn't love a wish list hashtag um it's got the stamping up logo on it which is good if you want to do cards for charity work or whatever or to sell on this day thank you it's got loads of stuff so i thought that's really bad i haven't <laughs> so you get all of this for free okay when you join and to join you just have to choose 130 pounds worth of stuff and pay 99 so it is the best offer in the catalogue. You get to become a demo. So it means you put your own orders in. Most of you put your own orders in with me anyway. Um, but you put, put your own orders in, get your discount, join in as part of the team, come to Stampin' Up! events, like we've got on stage in Vienna coming up, which I'm so excited about. I've been watching all my friends over in um, New Orleans this, this past weekend, feeling very jealous that I didn't go. But I have the show coming up, so I couldn't. But next year, I'm going to Las Vegas. Absolutely, I'm going to be there. So, um, uh, yeah, it's just a great offer. So, as I say, you get all this, all this, uh, and you just choose up to 130. You can't choose more than 130 um, for legal reasons. And then you have seven days before you can order anything else again. But, you know, what the heck? So that's only available, though, until close of business to, no, 31st. When's that? To, uh, Wednesday. So that's only available until Wednesday. After that, the planner has gone and you can't get the planner anymore. But on Thursday, when the planner's gone, we now have new things coming. 
So I thought I'd see how I segue into that. So one of the things, one of the things that's coming on the 1st of September is a set of dies that match this stamp set. I mean, a set of dies that match quite a few stamp sets, actually, but this one specifically that I'm talking about today. So it's called Playful Piggy Dies. I just love that. Playful Piggy Dies. Fabulous. Uh, and basically, they are designed to work with this stamp set. So this stamp set is in the annual catalogue. Here already, we've had it a few months. Um, but now they've brought out what they call Perfect Partners. Oh. So this one cuts out this little fella here. <laughs> and then this one cuts out this little fella here so cute uh, and then this one cuts out this one and then what you have left over no the other way around maybe yes there we go and then what you have left is uh, some grass a little truck a banner a little kerchief to go around his neck so cute um, a little handle some more wheels some bunting presents birds confetti a bow I don't know what that is. Oh, that's for the little butterfly. Oh, look, that, <laughs> that is so cute. That cuts out that little butterfly there. Look at that. So cute. <laughs> um, flowers, leaves, another flower, etc., and a bow. Um, so, yeah, this set is going to be part of my um, stamp and chat this month. So Stamp and Chat is my monthly card class that I do. Anyone can join in. You pay for a pack of uh, materials and then you can upgrade if you want to. Now I've got to work out how to put them back in again. That'll be fun. Um, and you can pay for a pack of materials that, um, oh, I don't know, I'll, get, I'll sort that out in a minute, um, that you can then make cards with, with with whatever you have at home. And if you want to, you can upgrade and you can add on these stamps and these dies. So I just thought it was perfect timing, really, to bring them out and have a play with them. So we're going to have a play because I did these a couple of months back. Um, really simple note cards showing you how you could just um, stamp the little piggies and do a bit of um, alcohol colouring with them. So I thought this time I would do some die cutting. And I'm also using uh, one of the papers that you get look at this wadge look at this massive wadge of paper and i've already taken some out of this um this is a host reward set and a lot of people forget the host reward things so i just want to remind you if you put an order in with me of over 150 pounds then you can choose something from the host page okay so this is the host page it's on page 86 of the small catalogue, the mini catalogue. And you can choose either the Caroling Mice stamp set, which, quite frankly, who wouldn't? Um, or you can choose the papers. Or if you spend enough, you can have both. So this is valued at £28, OK, because it is 48 sheets, four of each. But you only use £16.50 of your stamping rewards to get it. And if you've only got, like, £12, you can still put this on your reward and you'll get them, um, you'll get them, you'll just pay the extra, okay? Or you can choose the caroling mice, and that has a value of £20, but you only pay 12 But you can only get these if you reach the host reward limit, which is £150 and above. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's... Um, that is, I just wanted to remind people about the host sets because they are gorgeous and they do, and, and they are supposed to coordinate together. But I've decided I'm going to use mine with the pigs. So, um, uh, Louise, I can't remember. Louise has just asked me where I got my plastic covers for my mini catalogue. I can't remember. It was years ago and I bought a whole load with a friend. So um, I don't know is the answer to that. But you can get them on Amazon and places like that. You just have to look the letter size. Letter landscape is all I'll, is is what it needs to be. So in here we've got uh, this is obviously this is obviously Halloween, and then we've got Christmas with like crackers and sweeties and gingerbread men and ha and holly etc. Mistletoe, but then we have more like regular patterns. So I like this one, and on the back it's all black and white. Very black and white this year I feel. Lots and lots of papers are black and white on the back or even completely. Um, so I'm just pulling out ones that are non-Christmas. 
Let's see what we think about those. It's a bit black. I don't know about that one. I quite like this one just as because it's kind of plain. Plain but snazzy, if you know what I mean. This one. Oh, we could have leaves with a guy on a truck. That makes sense, doesn't it? With a piggy on a truck. Quite like that. Oh, we've got celebrations as well. That would be quite cool. That would be good for a birthday card, don't you think? And then we've got stripes, and then we've got more stripes. Yeah, let's let's just narrow the field down, Pip, because we can't be doing it. Let's do two cards today. And we'll do them with let's do them with the autumn and the pool party, actually. Uh, Oh, nice. Yeah, I really like that one with the pool party. Um, well, actually, I think it might be Minute Macaron. Let's do those two. Let's do leaves and uh, some kind of Minute macaroni kind of style. Oh, should we do that? No, I've changed my mind. Let's do fireworks. Let's do fire should we do fireworks? Let's tell. Tell me if you think fireworks and fireworks and leaves i think are best um so we do have another pack of papers that you can purchase that are also 28 sheets look at this uh, 48 sheets rather this is the gingham cottage gingham but it's all gingham and i like i like this one with its different but, i mean i like the gingham as well don't get me wrong um but yes yeah, so if you want to come to one of my um stamp and chat sessions that's what i'm looking for stamp and chat sessions um you can go online now and book a class really easily fireworks and leaves says bev good that's where i'm going bev i, th I think so too so if you want to book a class then where's my book a class link oh it's over here i think yeah, there we go. Right, that's how you book a class. So just come in, go there and book into the class that you want. Only available to the UK. If you're a member of my membership, you come for free, but you need or you get a discount on the box. It's up to you. You don't have to buy the box. Um, and you can come along for, for free just to join in. Uh, if you are not a member, it's £25 for the box. And then you will come along and have fun with us and you'll get the box in the in the paste and the box contains papers ribbons embellishments whatever is needed to complete your cards including cardstock and all that and then of course um, you can add on the dies and the stamps now this class closes for booking on the 31st of august why because i need to buy the dies as soon as they come out and i know they're going to be busy i know they're going to be popular um, so i don't want them to go into uh, non-orderable status but not only that i need to get them here asap so i can turn the boxes around and get them back out to you in the post so that's just a heads up if you want to come along and play with some of these things with me okay so that's how you book a class let's go back to there take that off the screen right so all the colors that are in here i've pulled out some of the colors that's going to look nice on there that's Poppy Parade. And then this is Pacific Point, which I think, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? That's very nice. Very, very nice. OK, now I know it's probably New Year, but people, loads of people have birthdays these days and have fireworks for their birthdays, don't they? And I think that would look good on a basic black background. Oh, that's going to make that pop, 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 pop. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. Nice. <laughs> OK, so that's that one. And then this one, I think I'm going to do that on a on a basic white background. And we'll see how that goes. Let's just see. Ooh, what have I done there? Scored that one a bit cockeyed. There we go. Get that sorted. Better. Yeah, that one will look nice on there. Okay, so now we've got our kind of basis. This one might even be better that way round. Oh, yeah. OK, so let's get started with some stamping. And we're going to need quite a large piece to do our stamping with. So I like to chop mine into four. 
you can fit half into the big um, cut and emboss machine, but I think um, cutting it into uh, smaller pieces just helps just helps work one card at a time. So let's see. I think I want to do one on a truck. I want to do the truck really. So what one fits on the truck? Oh, do you know what? She says pulling the truck off. I bet that one fits on the truck. We could stick the little piggy in there. Oh, that would look cute. I mean, he can sit on the truck. He could sit on the back of the truck. We could just chop his, chop his feet off or his thingy off. But I think this one would look really cute in that truck. Okay. So we need this one. And we need... The birthday one, obviously, because I think that one's going to fit nicer. Sort of in there, don't you think? That's going to look cute on there. Yeah. OK, so that one and that one. There we go. Hey, David, nice to see you. I am well, thank you very much. I hope that I hope you're doing well, too. How's things going with you? Good, I hope. Uh, let's have a look. It's your birthday. That might be a good one. Yeah, that's it's your birthday. It's your birthday. That's a good one. And go to your happy place and stay there all day, perhaps. Oh, no, this little piggy says happy birthday. Must be this one then. Reading upside down sometimes is a little tricky. And I think actually we could do the... Although she's, she's a bit asleep, really. Let's stick with these. I'm talking to myself. I'm sorry. I do that when I, when I, get, when I get in the design mode. <laughs> uh, did you see my reel on my Instagram yesterday? Doing my little designing, whizzing away in the background. It was so much fun. I never thought about doing that. I just, um, you know, I just always design quietly on my own, really. But I just set the camera up and then had it time lapse me while I was doing while I was doing my designing of a card and uh, yeah it's quite in, quite interesting okay so we'll do that and then and pop that lid on there I'm going to clean these and get them out of the way because I don't need them again so who likes pigs everybody like pigs or have we got some real oh I don't like pigs at all people in here Hands up if you're a piggy, piggy fan. Um, the good thing is that these will all fit in the little mini if you chop them in half. So I'm just going to chop this in half again. So it's really great because you can take this away with you and craft oh Peb, Bev says she's a piggy fan she's a piggy person yay <laughs> we've got a piggy person and we've got Cheryl who's still deciding we've got Nikki who says adore Percy pigs yeah <laughs> yeah I like bacon does that count um oh look it's Elaine hey nice to see you oh I'm so glad you managed to catch us live that's cool fab right we're just in the middle of playing with pigs and our knee dies that are coming out gotta love a pig so I've got some crumb cake here too much got some crumb cake here always over I get on what I need there we go a bit of crumb cake cardstock that's going to be my little wagon. So we'll cut that out first. Don't really need the washi, but I'll go for it anyway. I'm going to shake the desk now, so bear with. Oh, no, see, look, I've stuck that down and it's not in the right place. There we go. I'm going to lose the front of the cart. Okay, and then we might add a bit of toning on this. <laughs> Elaine says she loves the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh Nikki you're crafting along with me oh that's brilliant are you crafting with the pigs I hope you're crafting with the pigs that would be even more fun I love it when people craft along 
and I know it's not always possible because it's work and whatever, you know, and all that. So some people I know sneak sneak watch me <laughs> while they're supposed to be working, which shh, we don't tell anybody that. Um, but but you know, if you can if you can do a bit of crafting at the same time, that makes it even better, right? <laughs> okay, so let's ditch that. Get rid of that. Recycling. Okay, and then I've got my little daubers here. That looks like a brown dauber. Just going to add a little bit of tone. Oh, I might need a bit of colour. So uh, I think I'm going to go crumb cake. I don't want to go too dark. And these daubers are great for just doing little tiny pieces if you just want to do a little bit of blending or daubing, you know, just adding a little bit of extra to your die cuts. does tend to get over your fingernails if you have if you hold it this close I'm just saying so be prepared for that but see how that's just aged that middle piece there now a little bit makes makes it look a bit more realistic I think than just leaving it plain and the reason why I haven't done the wheels and the handle is because you can cut out two wheels and a handle from different colors <laughs> so we might have to do that so um i'm going to see what colors i've got down here i don't think i've got many to be fair mm -mm -mm. i need a little bit of what wheels black probably actually to be fair or gray i've got black here so that's my come on come on i know you're here somewhere there we are so I think black probably for the wheels and the handle. And this is a great way of doing scraps, which um, I see that Cheryl is sorting out her scraps into folders rather than having them in various places. Yes, put them in these. These work great. <laughs> They're just the binders that you use for like A4 lever arch files. They're just the, the folders that go into those. But they're so easy to just pop your scraps in. And then you can either put them in a binder if you want to keep them all together that way, or you can just, um, you know, pop them in, pop them into a different, like I have a shelf unit. Uh, well, not a shelf unit. I have a, a drawer unit that I use, which um, I did a little tour of the other day. It's a bit messy though in the moment in here, so I won't share it today. <laughs> Oh, Nikki says, oh, she's copying me. Lovely. You got a day off. Yay. <sighs> Do love a day off. Sean was supposed to be having not too bad a day today and a bit of a day off since the bank holiday. But it, he hit a snag with some of the wallpaper this morning. He said it's been dreadful up there trying to get it all done. <laughs> so he's now stopped work for the afternoon. He said, no, I've had enough. <laughs> so, right, there we go. Go back in there wheels so let's just pop those into place that'll kind of bring our little truck a bit to life notice i'm doing the gluing on there not on the little pieces and then i can use my take your pick to place the pieces where i want them and make sure that i don't lose glue all over my fingers and all over my project I love using my take your pick for this. It's just, you know, that and picking up rhinestones. It's just got the best. It's the best. Okay, so that's going to go on there. Look how that's going to show up. That's brilliant. I like it. That's cool. Okay, now we've got to do the piggy. So what we're going to do is we're going to colour the piggy and then we'll cut her out. And I say her because I feel like it's a her. So I have... My little, like, because I know I'm going to cut this out, I can do my testing up here. Yeah, okay, so that's a, that's a good pink for a pig. So we're going to go all over. And I don't take hours. You know me, I don't take hours with my colouring. I just do what I want to do. And because the pens are awesome, it ends up looking great. So I can't take any 
well, I can take a little bit, I guess, but nothing much in terms of, you know, it was all my stuff. It was all my amazing work, not really. Okay, so we've got this, we've got the nice light pink layer down, I feel. Now let's see, we've got a little bit of dark pink. Ooh, that's very dark pink. These are skin tones in actual fact. Yeah. Might just add a little bit of skin tones coming in here. Around the tail. Can't forget the tail. Just in the shadows. Doesn't need much. Okay, a little bit in the snout. I mean, she's just adorable, right? Blend her in. Lovely. Awesome. There we go. Lovely little piggy. We can't really see her colour. There we go, she's a bit washed out for you. Uh, hey. Hi, Amanda. Nice to see you. And hey, Denise. Excellent. You just got in. Lovely. Pick me up at lunchtime. Smashing. I'm good, thank you. Yes, I'm doing well. Um, we had a fantastic um, live streaming in my group last week. We got new members joining the group, which was fabulous. So happy about that so they're all enjoying themselves over in the group so i've got just a really really good week last week had fun i hope if you watched the demystifying inks workshops last week you learned something and had fun as well let me know if you did that would be cool and if you remember Obviously, you can shout out too. Right, so that's that. Now I'm thinking one of these was pretty dark, wasn't it? Was it that one? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking we can do this for the stones here and then add a bit of grey to it and that'll be perfect. It's kind of for the sand. And we're just going to have it so that it shows through. I've got a little bit darker, but I'm not sure we need it much darker. Maybe a little... Add a wash of dark in there. And what's this one? Yeah, kind of sandy, also muddy. Kind of look. It's it's like pigs in mud, right? That's what we're trying to do. Okay. Alrighty. And if you want to tone it down a bit, you can just add a little bit of a little bit of grey. And I am going to um, just see how it comes out when we die cut it. So let's pop. Let's put some yellow centres because that's going to match the flowers. I mean the leaves a little bit. I'm trying to get it looking a little bit more um, autumnal than a bit like summer daisy kind of thing. If you know what I mean. So... Here we go, we're going to cut her out now like this, line her up, yeah, that's pretty good. No, I've moved her, no, she's fine, that's good. Let's chop that out. You're all being very quiet, are you eating your lunches? Or are you just watching and or are you crafting maybe if you're crafting along I, I can i can understand that you won't have time to do commenting and stuff like that which i completely understand but if you're not then please do ask questions oh look at her that is so adorable it's just brilliant isn't she gorgeous so we're going to stick her kind of like in here, I think. 
you might need to just chop off a little bit there. I don't know, maybe I need to put her in a, maybe she needs to be in, in something. Maybe I need to put her in a little piece of, like I wonder if we do a little banner or something behind. Oh, that will fit, but oh, that fits behind. There we go. Right, so let's do some, what can we do on the inside of that? We'll do some white and we'll colour it the same as her, what she's sitting on, and then she'll blend in nicely because otherwise she looks a bit weird because you can see through. So that's a little odd. So let's do that. I think this is actually supposed to be a, a, a label, but it definitely gives an inside for the truck. Oh, Bev, we've got to be quiet. She's got a sleeping baby in her craft room. Well, I have been told apparently that my um, my videos send people to sleep sometimes. So, so hopefully I won't wake her up. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. So if you want something to match something that you've coloured, you just colour it. So let's just colour that. So, right. so we'll find this colour again roughly let's see this one i think it is that's the lighter one so we'll go with that and i'm going to get a piece of scrap oh look i did a lot of blending with this one hm. i need some more honestly i go through these um grid paper pieces like nobody's business Oops. there we go so it just darkens it down a little okay and then that we can pop behind the truck like so that fits nicely there and then she can sit in there and it doesn't look weird then it doesn't look kind of odd do you know what i mean she's kind of matching what she's sitting on so we like that i think i do maybe need to just chop a little flower off but we'll do that in a minute so to stick this down we will go along these lines because that's what it matches to. Right. Turn it over. Stick it down. Let's see if it's perfectly behind there. That's grand, isn't it? Okay, there we are. And then we can just, I think we'll put dimensionals on this and we'll just pop her. I think she'll fit in there like that. It's just maybe it's okay for that bit to be showing over we'll see okay so now we're going to put this together i'm not going to go fancy with you know ribbon and all the other bits and all stuff um because we haven't got time if we're going to do another one i want to do two so i'm going to keep them really simple what i might do though is i might add a bit of vellum you know me with my vellum love a bit of vellum so, because it just tones down that really bright background and then helps the pig to really sort of stand out a bit more. So we'll do that, do that, do that. I love my bright bowl papers. Okay, let's see, what have I got in here? Give me a bit of vellum. Here's a bit of vellum. Oh, look at that. Now, somebody was asking me how you attach vellum and it's, it's, very simple you just attach it where you can't it where it can't be seen so we'll pop her in there her in there like that oh look at that so cute there we go now do you think she should be on that side or that side i think that side and then i'll see if i can fit her sentiment over here i think oh i don't know now what do you think hmm which side? Left, right, left, right. <laughs> Sometimes you just got maybe in the middle. Middle, left, right. Oh, would the banner work like a blanket hanging over the wagon? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh my goodness, all of you have been so busy. Right, so Nikki, all Matt's and Leo's done ten, ten pigs to stamp now. Fantastic. Okay. Joe says, 
Oh, dreadful traffic on the way home from holiday. Oh, no, Joe. Well, I'm glad you got home safe. Go and have a cup of tea. Well, have a cup of tea while watching me. Uh, Julie thinks the banner will work like a blanket hanging over the side. What this banner? Oh, well, I could. Mm, I'm not sure how I could do that. You need to give me more info, Julie. I'm stuck with how you mean on that. I've got some leaves. I could cut some leaves out and kind of pop them on the side. That might that would work with this, wouldn't it? Let's do some of those. Let's do that. I like that. That would be a good thing. And then we're getting uh, to the right, to the right, to the right. Oh, no, middle, says Joe right middle okay so we've got middle and right i think it depends on the sentiment doesn't it like go to your happy place and stay there all day i'm not sure i could get that there if it's in the middle but i think i could get it there if it's on because i'm assuming that will fit there yes so we need a label like that to fit somewhere we could put it here we could kind of do half and half how about that? And then some leaves. I like the idea of leaves. I'm going to just nip out and get some scraps. Hold on. I'm not going far. I'm only going over here. I just need some scrappy doos. Now, what scrappy doo colours do we need? Oh, maybe some, yes, yeah, some poppy parade. Pumpkin pie, poppy parade. Pumpkin pie. Let's just do pumpkin pie because I can't find my poppy parade. Can't find my poppy parade. Let's do pumpkin pie. Okay, so I've got some granny apple, little scrappy bits, and no, oh, we don't actually have any pumpkin pie in there, do we? Well, that's okay because that means that. Um, no, I do need. I need my poppy parade. Where's my poppy parade gone? Found it. Found it. All good. Found it. Right. Okay. So we're going to do a couple of little leaves. And a couple of little... Do some green and some... That one's already adhe adhesived up. I like that. Let's adhesive sheet this up. Right, let's move that out of the way. Let's do this. Elaine says piggy to the right, banner in the middle, on middle left. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that too. Hey, Alison's late to the piggy party, but she's here. That's good. Lois says looks good. Alison's here. Yeah, I kind of like that too, Elaine. I think that's good. Okay, can I get one out of this size just about if I don't move it? Just do it. One of these and two green. I feel like we need, oh, look at those. See, aren't they just perfect? Oh, you can't see them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, they're just gorgeous. They match these beautifully. So we'll be able to sort of tuck one of those in and hide that, I think, for sure. Oops, no, we don't want to hide our nose. But we'll tuck one of those in there for sure. And then we'll do some green ones. They need to be up here so they get the adhesive sheet. Oops. Just getting my plate sorted out. <laughs> okay, sorry about the arm. Oh, we've still got the birthday one to go yet. I'll be here all afternoon. And I, I know I can hear some of you going, yay, great. <laughs> Others going, no, I've got to get back to work. Right, there's a green one. Let's do another green one. These are nice. I like these very, very much. So, yeah. So, as I said, we're going to do a whole class with this. So, there'll be fun things to be done. 
However, if you do not have and you cannot afford to do the add-on for the bundle or the or the stamps, you can always um, do you know, different things at home. There's always alternatives, and that's also fine. If you just want to come and get the package, like the goodie box, then you can do that too. Speaking of goodie boxes, I have three spaces left on my craft retreat for Christmas. Mm. And I'm going to be advertising it at the show next week. So those spaces may go. So if you've been if you've been thinking about coming and you're umming and ahhing and you're not quite sure, today's the day, folks. You need to go and sort that out. Right. Now I think we're we're in with a chance to get this going. Yeah, see, we could do that. We could do that. We could actually move the red one back here because there's less thingies and we can just do oh look see that works doesn't it i think so i know what i'm doing right so we decided on middle right so we're going to pop a little bit of um a little bit of um seal down this bottom half now the good thing is that once we've got everything on we know that we'll have a pig about here so i can put another little bit there and that's, that's basically it that's going to hold this thing together. So we'll have to hope that that's enough. But I think it should be. I mean, it will be for the vellum. We just uh, want to make sure it's not going to do too badly with these two. OK, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue just along this line. And I'm going to use that to just stick the piggy now i know it's not going to be perfect so i'm just going to turn it over and work out oh actually it's not bad is it there we go about like that we said didn't we okay then i'm going to add my leaves as she stabs herself with the take pick tool don't do that that's mm. not good there we go Take that off. Take that off. And we're just tucking that in just while it's still got a bit of spare. It's not too sticky. This one doesn't have any glue on it, so I'll just put a little bit of glue down the glue there. There. It doesn't need much. It doesn't need much because it's going to go in. I don't really want it hiding the tail, but yeah, it's going to have to a little bit, I think. Pop them over there like that, that's fine. And then this one, which was the one we wanted in the first place, just to hide that sort of bit that's hanging out the side. Let's have a look. There we go. There we go. Pop those two. You can even like pinch them so they just go back like that together which I think is actually what I want them to do a bit more like that so they don't hide the flowers there we go that looks cool okay what do we got Nikki says craft retreat is fab yeah craft retreat is amazing especially the in-person ones it, it was it was an amazing and it was only two weeks ago but it feel it was just fabulous to be in person for a whole day and the Christmas one is two days in person um or two days online. So Hannah, yes, I am still doing the online one. You are still the only one at the moment, but I'm hoping we might get some more online um, people at the show if they can't make the in-person one. So don't panic at this point. I'm not cancelling. See how we go. Hoping I don't have to. I mean, I, it, it would be a shame for it only to be you. We want it to be more than you because then it's more fun. But... Um, I do not have plans to cancel. So, yeah, the online one, massive goodie bag, lots and lots of stuff to play with, loads and loads of um, stamps and dies and oh, everything you need for two days plus of crafting, plus um, prizes, surprises, pillar gifts, all the extra fun of the fair when you come to retreat it's it's uh, it's epic as one of my friends would say 
And that's just not me saying that. Loads of people say that. <laughs> so don't just take my word for it. There we go. OK, I've done a lot of dimensionals on this and I haven't done one on the handle, which is slightly concerning me, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm going to pop this little truck thing here. Oh, look, it needs to come down a smidge for the glue I put on. But that's OK. That's OK. There we go. That's working. Look at that. So cute. And having just that vellum behind here. Gives it a little bit of texture, a bit of movement, but also, you know, dulls down that really bright background so that the pig shows through better, I think. So now we've got our pig on our cart. <laughs> Snooze in a way. She has gone to her happy place. So now we're going to use a bit of Poppy Parade, I think. Let's bring that colour back in so that it matches with the surround. And then... I'll just stamp that and die cut that out now that we can because we have a die. How is that? I mean, this is just cool. Oh no, that's not cool. Cool, I really need to re ink my poppy parade. Oh, maybe this is my old poppy parade. Ah, it'll do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now. I cut that out. In fact, let's just chop that smaller because we're going to want it to go through the die cutting machine that way. Do, do, do. There we go. So, what do we think so far? Thumbs up for the dies, thumbs up for the piggies. What do we think? <laughs> oh, Cheryl's going to have a look at the online craft retreat. Oh, Cheryl, you are. It's a blast. Um, and if you're coming to the in person one and you want to join us the following weekend, you are more than welcome. That was that was always my plan so because, you know, sometimes people have, you know, nasty things happen. We were a bit concerned because it's in October, a bit concerned with like COVID and all that kind of stuff. So should you fall sick and you can't physically get to the in-person one, obviously I can't give you any refund because I've already paid the hotel and everything um, for lunches and stuff. But if you pay for the shipping, I can get your box shipped to you urgently and it should arrive in time for the following week. So then you can join us online. That was the plan. Right, here we go. So I'm going to pop this. Yeah, do I want to go around the edge with it? No, I'm just going to, I'm just going to stick with directionals. Oh, they're too small. Those were big ones, there we go. Right, one on there, one on there, one in the middle, That's that's plenty. I think like that. I think it's going to have to be a jaunty angle. Yeah, jaunty angle it is. Well, she's just cute, isn't she? A pig on a truck with some leaves and some flowers. <laughs> it is looking, it is, isn't it, Julie? I like that. Yeah, it's looking really cute. Oh, thank you, Denise. <laughs> uh, it's probably on the right underneath something. <laughs> uh, thanks, Nikki. Uh, we're going to see yours when you've finished yours. I want to see those too. Right. OK, so that's that one done. Now we've still got the birthday to do. Don't forget. This one's going to have fireworks going off and everything. So this one, let's see. I don't have a Pacific point um, or a pulp or a mint macaron. I've got mint macaron blends. Let's do mint macaron blends. What else have I got in here? Oh, look at that. 
Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. So pink, we, we know our pinks. Let's get our pinks back on so we can just double check. That's the one for the shadows. I think that is our pig. And that's the one that's surprisingly dark, so we don't do that. So here we go again. So if you miss the first bit of colouring, you'll see that I'm not a fussy colourer. I like doing quick and easy colouring because life's too short. I mean, I will jazz it up a little bit. I'll definitely add a spot of shading when she's sitting on her backside. That's always going to be in shadow, isn't it? Mine's always in shadow. And back here, a bit under here, and a bit under her chin. And this arm over here. Maybe a little bit on that ear, a bit down here, a bit inside her ear. There we go, she didn't really need much more than that. So we'll just go over those bits, now we know where they are. Add a little bit of dark. And I just, I love the dotting move, motion for this. Because it, it means you don't, you can't really go out of the way you can't like you can't really go wrong if you're just dotting because there's no streak or anything that you're going to make with it it's just dots and if you want more shadow you just add more dots and if you want less shadow you just don't do as many dots i'm going to blend that in leave a little bit of white inside there and on top of the ear. It's a little bit more there, I think. Blend that down. There we go. Okay. And then... That's looking all right. So then we're going to do the cake. Now the cake needs to be colours that will match. Uh, ah, thanks, Melly P. Hello, nice to see you. Uh, Julie says, what are the colours I'm using to colour the pig? That's a good question. Uh, SU1000 and SU900. So they're the very lightest natural tones, which it's annoying because they don't say natural tones on the pens. They just say numbers. And then in the catalogue, they don't say the numbers. They just say natural tones. <laughs> it kind of drives me a little bit, a bit, little bit nuts. Um, where are they? They're on. They're in the. They're in a strange place, aren't they? In here. In fact, they're not where you would expect them to be. I just need to find them. I think they're with the wow section. Yeah, here we go. The with the wow factor section. So if you look in your catalogue, in the annual catalogue, so they're the light ones, the bottom ones, natural tone stamping blends. So it's the two, it's the light um, combo at the bottom, and then the medium light is the one that's got the funny one in that does the the great like really dark bits for the bottom. So I use them more than I use petal pink. I used to use petal pink before they came along. So if you've got petal pink, that's also a possibility. Uh, but I like these. So we've got mint macaron in here. We've got uh, poppy parade yellow. I didn't bring it. I haven't got a shaded spruce one. What's the pink one? Didn't know there was a pink one in here. What's the pink one? Oh, it is polished pink. That looks a bit dark for polished pink. Hmm. Okay, it's nice. It looks a little sugar plummy kind of thing, but we'll go with this. So I'm going to go with these ones, I think, because I want uh, the cake. Do we have green cake? Maybe not, actually. Although it's a pig, so maybe. Who knows? He can have whatever he wants. 
And this one's a he for some reason. Don't ask me why. But I think this one's more of a he. And the one lying down is more of a she. It's probably just my, you know, personal thinking. Red, yellow and green. Strange colours for a cake, Pip, but we'll live with it. And then we'll do a, we'll do a light candle. There we go. I don't have a blue, which is a bit annoying, because that would be great for the... Didn't bring a blue with me. That would be great for the um, balloon. So we'll do it in... I don't even have my granny apple green. We'll have to do it in orange, I think. That isn't going to work, though, is it? It's not going to match. Oh, I'm getting annoyed with myself now for it not matching. Now, these little feet need to have some of those. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll make these little feet a bit darker. There we go. It's the answer. So icing colours. Yes, that's true. It's just icing colours. That's that's very true, Julie. So we're OK with that. So I think we're going to go yellow for the balloon. So I think that will match in. So I'm going to do light yellow here. And then actually we can go overall with it with this. There we go. Let's not get too technical. Add a little dark, a little bit of dark down here. Here, we dark down here. Okay. Leave it lighter elsewhere. And then a little bit more like this. A few more little dots. And then come in here. There we go. Right. Oh, I got carried away with my colouring. I don't know how long I've been. Oh, at least an hour. Oof. Never mind, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. This one's going to be easier because... I went on the ground. Because we don't have any... Um, we're not doing the cart and the flowers and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to put this on to, like, some weird colour sand. <laughs> That's not a good colour for sand. Let's go over that and make that a bit more sandy-like. There we go. Or mud like even perfect better so we'll pop him on there smash him run him through not with a sword obviously just run him through the machine sorry made myself laugh <laughs> so the designs that i do for my card classes they're normally kind of you know you can do them with just the stamps or you can then add to them if you want to with the um bundle um or you can substitute as i say at home so don't feel like you have to have everything but if you want it as i say you can do it as an add-on there we go and it is the Stamp and Chat class on the 17th of September, which is like 20 days away. So I best get designing. Um, I know what I'm doing, so that's cool. And these are kind of just two extra ones, two added extra or inspirational ones. So let's pop this down. Now, again, you could add a piece of vellum behind so we'll have a look and see whether he, it feels like he needs to be grounded on something because, you know, he is sitting in the middle of nowhere otherwise. But I, I almost feel like he needs to sit on something down here. Like a little, I might sit him on a label. That might work, might not? Yeah, let's sit him on a label. So this can go on. This needs just another one of these. Okay, make sure that's the front. No, that's the back. There we are. There we go. Nice. 
and then um, he's going to sit on a label so we can either use the label that we've been using if I can find it here yeah let's do that actually I think that's good enough actually we can pop him on on top of a label like that that would look great so I'm going to cut out for this one I'm going to go with Pacific Point she says if she can find a Pacific Point there we go and we've got somewhere oh what have I done with my stamp oh what have I done with my stamp okay now it's not Nikki looking for stuff it's me Can anyone see what I did with my stamp there's my dies so they need to go in there did I put it back? Nope. Is it on the bottom of my machine? Nope. Okay. <laughs> See, this is my fault for not sticking it onto a block straight away. Did I stick it on? I thought I did put it on a block, but I I'm guessing I didn't put it on a block because it's not on here. Can anybody see my little happy birthday? <clears throat> nope. Oh. What have I done with that? Oh, it'll turn up somewhere along the line. It's not on my plates. Not in my box. I don't think it's stuck to a blend. I'll stuck it to myself. That's always the other thing, isn't it? Because they're so sticky, these stamps. I end up sticking it to myself. Oh well. <laughs> we'll find it later. Let's do another one then. So we're not going to do it's your birthday let's do hope it's the best uh, see it's only this little one here hope it's the best uh, oh i haven't even got this one out yet have i oh no i haven't even got this one out yet all right uh, hope it's the best here we go has it fallen on the floor yeah i know i don't know can't see it. I thought that whether is it on my sleeve, but I can't feel it on my sleeve. I think I moved it somewhere, thinking I put it in a safe place, but no, obviously not. Oh, I wonder if it's. This is also the other place they always get is at the bottom of your trimmer. But no, not this time. Memento. My floor is actually really clear, so I would have thought I would have seen it if it had gone on the floor. It's not on the back of my paper pack, which is the other place it can stick because it's plastic. So... Oh, maybe on the back of one of these. No. <laughs> How odd. It'll turn up, I'm sure. But for now, let's do this. Uh, so this is Hope. Hope it's the best. This one here. So this is how you apply the stickers to the back. And once they apply, they are sticky, which is why I think it's got stuck to the back of something and disappeared off. OK, so I'll pop that down there. Otherwise, this birthday piggy won't have any birthdays. <laughs> yeah, I thought that above too, but no, it's not on the back of that one either. Oh, never mind. I'll let you know where it ended up. <laughs> and it'll be like, oh, don't. of course it did. It's not even on the back of my cup of tea because I haven't drunk my tea. Oh, 
which I'm now rectifying. Right, let us do this. This, there we go. Pop that over there. Pop that on there. I think that will fit there nicely. Just like so. Oops, maybe up a little bit. Like so. Yeah. Stick that down. Yeah, I might have a look at my pens in a minute properly, Denise. I couldn't see it like just glancing at them, but you're right, it could well be with my pens. It's just tricksy. That's what it is, tricksy. Okay, so let's now let's do this. Just want to make sure it's not like stuck anywhere on my cotton emboss, but it doesn't look like it. Let me get this. Not on, my, not on my plates, which is a good thing because that would really squash it to nothing if it was on my plates. So let's be glad that it isn't. Okay. I wonder if we got stuck to the back of the dimensionals. No, it's not even on my dimensionals. I'm going to need them again in a minute, so let's get those out again. Okay, so now let's get this little piggy. Let's get this piggy started. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pop this down here on dimensionals. And if you wanted to, you could heat emboss it. You could do all of that kind of stuff. You know, have it on black with white. That would look really cool. Um, but I haven't got time to do that today. So we'll pop that on there. Is that straight? Mm yeah ish and then he's going to sit on top like that that's going to be cute so we'll pop him up on dimensionals luckily they provide a space that's perfectly sized for a dimensional on the balloon so clever uh and then we'll stick one there oh, i feel like his ear needs something now you know me i don't like to see anything not given support it's the support really it's not to stick it down because you only need two to stick it down um and keep it there but it's just when they go through the post office you know it gets all squished and i don't like that so i want to make sure that when my cards are received they're in pristine condition at the other end and put that just there no nope. so it's just there like so excellent there he is Look at that. I think that is super cute. So we've gone from really simple, stamped and coloured in on two little note cards, which is cute on itself and of its own, to adding some dimension with the dies. That would be brilliant. <laughs> uh, or a little pig in a truck which i think this is my favorite so um so yeah they're really good aren't they so if you want to book in to that class then you need to just hop on over to um where are we hop on over to here book a class and then find the stamp and chat session and it will just be stamp and chat for september so uh, 17th of september book into that if you're in the uk and choose whether you want to add on the stamps and the dies. You don't have to. You can use your own. You can come along if you're a demo. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It's just about, um, you know, having some fun and making some pretty cards. So that is that. And then um, Beth says she loves them. That's nice. Has it stuck to my liquid glue? Oh, there's a thought. No. But not even to my seal either. I'll find it. Don't panic, peeps. I'll find it. I'll let you know. Um, and then thank you, Denise. That's so nice. So if you want to um, jump in, then you can. You don't have to, but you can. But let's uh, first of all. Let us see what everybody is thinking of that. Cool. Very cute. Nice. Excellent. So, whoops, that's a bit bright. So there we go. So that's the piggies. So cute piggies. 
love them oh that's a bit, a bit, a bit less bright there we go there we go so yes our piggies are gorgeous um i'm going to keep these for a while and but i will do a giveaway with these so i will pick a name and if you don't mind i'll send them to you after my class so that i can show them off in class if that's all right but i will pick someone who's commented today and you will get them in the post um you'll get one of them in the post but i will keep it if that's okay until after class because i'd like to share them with the people on the class in case they didn't see this live because they're cute so let's do a giveaway let's do that and don't forget i've got tickets for the show if you're interested in the show hashtag show and um oh nikki says that her favorite one is the is the firework one nice cheryl says it's going on a next order excellent good to hear and don't forget that this is the last two days for you to join and get the beautiful planner um so if you are thinking about getting you know if you've been if you're if you've got a long wish list right and you're thinking oh i really want all this stuff but i can't afford all this stuff well if you join you can get a discount and you also get all of these things and all that stampin up ask you is that you share the love of stampin up with other people and i mean it's that simple you literally just share your cards share your makes um show them pictures you can share catalogs you can do it in any way or shape or form that you want to you do not have to come here on live online go live do all the stuff like me but if you do want to i have probably one of the best kept secrets in the biz i have a website that is purely dedicated to my team and my web designer team louise who's my like sister my stamping sister and um it's packed full of, of training if you want to take this forward as a business. So if you do want to do it as a business opportunity, then I have a website all set up. The fabulous Nikki has helped me load up the next six videos that went up this just this last week. Um, and Debs, who did my who's been doing my images and stuff for me because I can't do everything by myself. I have a wonderful team of um, you know, demos who who are with me as part of the Royal Stampers, and we all help each other out, which is fab. But if you did want to do this and earn a little bit of what I call craft stash cash, craft stash cash, <laughs> that's right, um, then now's a great time. You get your planner so you can plan what you're going to do um, for the next year and a half, plus you get a stamp set and you get to take £130 worth of stuff home for just 99 quid today and tomorrow only. But if you want the piggies, you're going to have to wait till September. So, you know, it's a bit of a toss up. I know I'm giving you like, oh no, what do I do? But you could join today with £130 worth of stash, wait a week, and then get the piggies and the dies at discount. It's a winner winner, right? <laughs> so there you go. That's it now. Yeah, see, Shell says she likes um, her, she loves her plan and also takes A5 pages. Excellent. I like that. Marvellous. And then. Planner's gorgeous and fountain pen friendly paper. I know. Look, I've got my fountain pen all here, ready to use. In my, in my, that's an important thing for us planner girls. Uh, Denise says, "Can I send some of my pictures?" Yes, of course you can. You can send them to me if you don't know how to load them up into my group. Send them to me, and I will put them in Crafty Corner. So absolutely, you can do that, Denise. For sure, for sure, for sure. We'd love to see them. Love, love, love to see them. OK, so I think I've gone on long enough because it's now oh, I've overrun by 20 minutes. But we did have fun with pigs, didn't we? Have fun with pigs, we did. So let's do the giveaway quickly and then I'll share my screen so you can see it. Dun, dun, dun. I love this bit. OK, so let's share my screen. Share screen. Let's do this. OK, are we ready? So we're going to choose today's cute animal cards with birthday piggy, this birthday piggy. And then we don't need to worry about text. And we're going to start collecting comments. Ten individual people have commented. So that's cool. We've probably got way more than that comments, but ten individual people have commented. And we're going to do a draw. <gasps> Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? I love this bit. I love this bit. Come on. Who's it going to be? Melly Pink, Melly, you need to send me your address, honey. You need to tell me where I can send you a card, okay? And I'll send you a piggy card, but it'll have to be after, um, after I do my class on the seventeenth. But tell me that, okay? Share that with me. Well done, Melly P. 
All right. So have a lovely week. I will be back again in September. I like how is that possible that it's already September? Four months. I'm in Italy. Yeah. So I don't care. T send me your address. You get a card. I've sent cards all over the world. I love doing it. So you just uh, message me privately um, and send me your address and I will put a card in the post. Uh, after the 17th so that I can share them with my class first if that's all right uh, so yeah I love I love sending cards anywhere that's what we do right so thank you so much for watching today I hope you had a lovely time I will see you again next week in September and I've no idea what we're going to be talking about but it'll be fun <laughs> all righty until next week see you soon have fun have a lot of crafting fun see ya bye <laughs>